What's up? What's up? Welcome to my second channel. Hey, hey! If you guys are wondering how I got this look, if you guys are rating this install a 5 to a 10, <laughs> and you are shocked that to know that this is my first, my first, my first time installing my own front toe. Okay, so if you want to go through the process with me and what I did, like the whole thing. Now, mind you, we're just talking about the image. We're not going to go into details of all of the other stuff because that's not what we're talking about today. I'm just showing that if a tutorial is to show you how to install a wig for beginners, it should be easy. So, this is how it came out. So, comment down below what you think. I'm going to go ahead into the next slide and show you exactly what I did, the steps that I followed. They say that that's all you have to do. It's so easy. But if you think this looks good, comment down below. If you think it's an app, uh, try a different routine. Please send me a different tutorial that you would like me to follow step by step. Same with my makeup and everything like that. If you want to see this look, Please stay tuned for an upcoming video. And if you want to see me install my own wig, a video is also posted. And all those will be down below coming later on tomorrow or you already watched it. But I'm out. I love you guys so much. And on to the next slide. So to start off, y'all, um, I watched a few tutorials and everything like that. If there's a specific tutorial that you would like me to see, then boom. But I'm going to go ahead and get straight into the video so we can get it popping like and get it started popping low off. So I do want to do a disclaimer. I do not do hair i am not a professional i've never went to school and i've only tried this one time off camera for five seconds that was it but we're not here to talk about that today i will be reinstalling my blue wig that i have as you guys can see from the beginning but to start off all my hair is braided already for my previous wig everything is pre-braided already this is like you know what i'm saying like this is my hair so what i'm going to do is a wig cap that i got from the beauty supply store and um i got this uh, i got this color so that way i can put my makeup on it because this is the kind that um all the hairstylists that i've went to have used in the past and some people actually use nothing at all you know what i'm saying so yeah so here's the one here we go take that and you just put it over your whole entire head as best as you can Ow. take my got to be spray glue so you want to just get them right around here now that the glue is on I am going to be waiting about five to ten minutes okay guys so now that it is dry as you can see, if I was to lift it up, it's hard. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to follow along for my hairline. But I'm not going to get too close because when I put the glue on. Now this is the hardest part for me because like I said, I'm new and I only watch tutorials. And so what I've seen a lot of people do is that they cut right in the middle. Okay. Okay, so this is my head right now with the, um, with the, uh, you know, cutting it off with the wig cap and everything like that. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my makeup brush and, um, I don't have a powder. I use foundation. So I didn't have an actual powder and I didn't want to go to the store and buy a powder because I didn't know which one is my actual blendage. So with my brush little dab over here i'm just gonna take that so you guys can see it's like really close to my skin like this one is a um what's it called and i'm just gonna go over i feel like it's as flat as i would personally want it but from a far away i look like you know what i'm saying i got some finger waves you know what i'm saying so now i'm going to be using the ghost bond glue that was so freaking cool i did that like eight times only three but it worked so I'm gonna be using the Ghost Bond glue. Um, I see some people use the end of a rat tail comb. I'm gonna use the end of a rat tail comb and I'm just gonna put it down. I'm only going to be doing two layers because I am taking this off tomorrow. So I might just do one layer. <laughs> I'm 
What am I doing? Okay, so now that the glue is on, um, some people blow dry it to dry it faster. Some people do the natural way, which is, you know, let it dry naturally. You know when it's done because it'll be clear and not tacky. So when I come back, all of this will be clear. And for the leftover glue that's not in a place, the thing about the glue is that when you get some rubbing alcohol and you kind of go over it, you'll, you know what I'm saying, it cleans all of that up so that way you don't even have to worry about it. And like I said, this is my first time doing this. Oh my gosh. Ah! Yes, okay. So I'm actually going to go ahead and um, blow dry it so that way it can go ahead because I'm only doing one layer. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it or whatever. And then we're going to go ahead, put the wig on from there and tweak it. So this is my hair that I will, this is the hair that I will be using. Um, I straightened it out a little bit. Um, I had straightened it out a little bit or whatever. And as you can see, it's already pre-cut because um, I got it done from an actual stylist. I'm just putting it back on because I have nothing else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wig, put it up here. Boom, as you can see. And so now I'm just going to take it. It's already parted and everything, and I'm just gonna place it on. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna, as you can see, as you can see, I'm just gonna take it. Yeah. And then I'm gonna take this side as well. I don't understand how these girls is doing this. Like it, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm getting like a little easy vibe, kinda, sorta, but not really. And then I'm gonna do the same to this side. Take it. I'm just gonna press down on the sides. Okay, so now that it's on, I'm going to go ahead and brush it out and pull my edges up. Okay, so the wig is on my head and it's laying down. I feel like it feels pretty, pretty secure or whatever. So just separating it into two. Like I said, I tried to straighten it and everything before I even... I tried to straighten it everything before I even, like, you know what I'm saying... So right now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is they do these edges. I'm gonna go ahead and do these edges. All right, so I'm just gonna cut. Just kidding, ah, y'all thought I was really crazy like that, no. So with the part that's already parted, because like when I get my wig style, I take them off how they're put on me. Okay, so as y'all can see from right here, I feel like I did really good, like so far despite everything and despite this little crazy scene crazy little pieces and stuff over here i think i'm just gonna you know got to be spray glue that stuff side down but with this over here i feel like i did pretty good and then i'm just gonna take it and look at what parts that she had did already for my edges which seems to be this one this little piece right here and so with this i'm just gonna push that to the back over here like that and then i don't know what the heck this is 
She must not did this piece. I don't know. Or was this over here? I like them pieces that do that. Like a middle one. I don't know. So, so we just gonna do a little weird stuff over here. Cause nobody gonna see these. Cause like, you know what I'm saying? It's just for like a real quick. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this part right here. I'm gonna, I don't know. But, I feel like I did pretty good for my first time ever. I'm gonna comb it out at this point because that, that's just too complicated. Some people, y'all can do it. I've never been an edge person like at all in any type of sense of fashion. So, we're not even gonna do them. Today, we're doing the natural, what's it called? I got my hot comb, I got it plugged up. And then we're just gonna hit all of this. This one was all silk, soft, and silk scalp. And then, like I said, I had straightened it a little bit, but I'm only keeping it in for a day because I have an event to go to today. That's the only reason. Okay, y'all. I don't know. These girls, y'all, whoever do hair and makeup, congratulations to y'all. Y'all know what y'all doing. I feel it. I, I mess with it. I, I'm messing with it real heavy. Nice and heavy. Okay, so we just not gonna put my hair behind my ear. Okay, y'all. Y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all know what y'all doing. So we just not gonna put my hair behind my ear. Don't put your hair behind your ear. So if y'all see me, you're like, oh my God, Ariel, your hair is so cute. I'm gonna be like, oh my God, thank you. But if you tell me to take a picture and put my hair behind my ear or anything like that, then I'm gonna know you fake because you should know already. Unless you see me. Post. I got it done professionally. It's fake until you make it. All right, y'all. So, this is what I look like after. Um, I don't have my makeup on or anything like that, but this is what I look like after. I feel like this looks like a little closure to me. Um, and I like it. I feel like I did pretty good. Now, if you're trying to do all the fancy stuff and... You know what I'm saying? You want to pull it back. We're not going to do all that. This is my first time ever doing this. And so I just wanted to show y'all my experience. And I feel like I did pretty decent. And I feel like if I was to keep practicing and to keep doing it, that I would get better. Like I said, this is the hair. This is how long it is. For those who don't know either. This is the hair, how long it is. This is all blue. It has, um, this is with the cut watercolor method. If you want to see how I kind of like revamped it a little bit my other wigs and stuff you will stay tuned for another video but this is my first wig and style video so make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn your post notification hit that thumbs up and comment down below team area all day every day and i love y'all wouldn't i be here without y'all and i'm out